Hi guys, welcome back to All About Fire Protection Channel. This is again your host. My name is Karen. Okay, and today we are going to be discussing placement of heat detector at ceiling with beam construction. So here's a quick recap of the previous videos that we've shared. So we have our first slide. Okay, as you can see in the illustration, we have a smooth ceiling. Okay, so a smooth ceiling is a flat ceiling without any structural beams or a solid obstruction. Okay, so if we have a smooth ceiling, okay, we will follow maximum limited spacing. Okay, so if we're going to use NFPA standards, that's going to be 50 meters. Okay, but you can also refer to the man manufacturer. A different type of ceiling this time we have ceiling with beam construction so this is what it looks like so this is your ceiling and then we have your beam over here so if you have a beam construction we need to know what the rules are okay so first rule we should measure beam depth so how do we measure the beam depth again so that is from your ceiling underside and at uh, ceiling underside and at the bottom of the beam. So that is your beam depth. So second rule, okay, we need to measure ceiling height. So ceiling height is your ceiling underside and finished floor line. And on to the third rule, measure spacing between beams. Okay, so if you have multiple beams, okay, you need to get the spacing of each beam. So now that we know the rules, we proceed with the argument. Argument number one, is beam depth less than 100 millimeters? If so, okay, that will be considered a smooth ceiling, so you will then follow the maximum listed spacing. So again, if you were to follow NFPA standards, that's 15 meters, but you can also refer to your manufacturer. So heat detector shall be placed either at ceiling or bottom of the beam. So here is our ceiling. Okay, you can place it either here or onto the bottom of the beam. Still following maximum listed spacing. Now we have our second argument. Is beam depth more than 100 millimeters but less than or equal to 460 millimeters? So looking at the illustration, um, these are your beams. Okay, if this is the case, you will then consider two-thirds of maximum listed spacing. And you cannot put your smoke detector at the bottom of the beam. It can only be placed in the ceiling underside. Third argument is beam depth less than 300 millimeters, but spacing between beams are less than 2.4 meters. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, if this is your argument, then smoke detectors still can be placed on your ceiling underside. And it's also permitted to be placed at the bottom of the beam, which is still following two-thirds of the maximum listed spacing. On to our last argument, is beam depth more than 460 meters, 460 millimeters rather. Okay, and also, if the spacing is more than 2.4 meters, okay, because of the, uh, the spacing and the distance, you should now put a smoke detector in each packet. So let's take a look at the illustration here. So on to your ceiling underside, and then, and then here, another one, 
then you can also place it here. So again, heat detector shall be placed at each packet. So that sums up our discussion for today. Okay, so placement of heat detector at ceiling with beam construction. So I hope you learned a lot. Okay, don't forget to leave your comments if you have any. Okay, please like our channel and subscribe okay, to be updated for more videos. Thank you. Bye.